Why would you uh, think that the problem is down at the base of the base of the tree, not up here where like the harp and all that crap is? I don't know. Uh, there we go. Hey, they're so much quicker than I am. You ate the sand. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, ready to go. Let's get down the tr trunk. Now, it's going to seem a little bit different down here now because the sandstorm isn't raging anymore. So, so, things might be a little bit different. But you think without the sand there, beating back the... Oh, Alexandrian soldiers. Great. So it seems pretty clear that Alexandria is now attacking Clara and not having, um, not finishing off, uh, not being enough taken out friggin', um, Bermica. They want to go and take out Alexandria as well. Phoenix down. Alright, now that uh, it's pretty clear what we're going to be facing here, I can go and set abilities. Man-eater is a power that you want to use. Deals lethal damage to humans. Not all the characters have that, but Zidane has it. Apparently I can get this chest now. Only a high potion, but whatever. Better than nothing. Now, we seem to be a little bit of a problem here, because... Oh, shit. What? Why didn't they attack before? They managed to use the, um, the Black Mages as a rather effective weapon to take on Bermica, and Bermica didn't stand a chance. The Black Mages just rolled through there and slaughtered everyone. Now, it seems like, very likely, they do the exact same thing to Clara. But so far, that's not what we've been seeing. They're using their standard, um... They're using their standard troops to attack, rather than relying on the Black Mages to sort of be shock troops to go in ahead and just slaughter everyone. Shouldn't have left to begin with, you bunch of idiots. Ah, it's her. It was a trick just to lure us out of there so they could attack the village. And here are the black mages. Oh, Dan is dead. No discrimination based on how belligerent targets or not. They're just killing everybody. Sharon and Shannon. Great. That's one way you can go and make sure that you 
sort of uh, differentiate the kind of like portrayal of war in a video game or sort of story of some kind. Sorry if I'm kind of like not talking right. My microphone is falling off of its stand and I'm having a hard time keeping it mounted. Okay, I got it done with a little bit of a better setup. If you want to differentiate between what you consider to be a sort of like just campaign of war against an enemy, there's a few things you have to sort of avoid. Hey, look what it is. Yeah, okay. I'm financing his journey. <laughs> Yeah, alright. Attacking civilians, having like what's happening here. Where the Alexandrian army and the black mages and all that are attacking civilians who aren't even trying to fight back. That's how you would differentiate between a, what you would call, maybe call a just war and one that's just sort of like crazy, uh, crazy shit gone awry kind of war, you know? Like what we're seeing right here. Ah, would have thought that maybe would have done it. Well, I got a potion out of it. Jeez, Quinta can do some crazy damage if it needs to. Or if it wants to. <laughs> Jeez, they are everywhere. Not to say there aren't other things wrong with what's going on here. Like the use of black mages as shock troops is definitely something that you would consider to be questionably ethically. Head up. Nope, maybe bad. Bad move. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, uh, that didn't work out. Not doing a terribly good job of protecting these people, Zidane. The use of the... of the, um... The black mages as shock troops is definitely morally questionable, because if you look at it in a certain way... Don't let them go ahead. You have to think about, like, on one hand, it kind of makes sense to... If you're gonna have soldiers on the front lines, it's... One hand, it's better to have not, like, your citizens doing it, or actual people doing it. Because, like, well, I mean, it's hard to justify intentionally just, like, getting a whole bunch of people killed, your own people. Not to mention the people on the other side of the conflict or whatever, but like you know, minimizing your own casualties is oftentimes a key thing in trying to fight a war. The more pe the own people you have, the less desirable it is, obviously. So on that front, it kind of makes sense that they use the black mages for this purpose. Stop going up! Ah, oh, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, there's kids at orphans now. But on the other hand, we have seen that the black mages are not entirely just mindless, soulless creatures that... automatons. They're 
I mean, most of them seem to react in almost a sort of, like, mindless state, but maybe there is actually something to them, not just, not just a bunch of soulless creatures. And the sake of creating life for nothing more than the purpose of using it to act as sort of cannon fodder in a war is definitely screwed up. Your dad's dead. Should be trying to escape, not go up, really. That's kind of dumb. Well, you know, Dad's not safe in the cathedral. Oh, where the hell were you earlier, jackass? Could have used your help a few minutes ago. Oh, Sir Fretley. You're talking about this now with what's going on outside?
Uh, of course. Ah, uh, everyone here is okay. Yeah, stuff. I didn't save enough people to get more crap. Yeah, I can use a card out there. This fight didn't work out the last time we tried fighting her. What makes you think this is going to do any better? Okay, here we go. Let's try this one more time. Because, <laughs> you know, it worked out so well for us last time we tried fighting her. Okay, it's basically the same. Same thing. Try stealing from her. Cast... Oh, 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 Zidane's under. <laughs> gonna have to bring him back. Of course it was gonna miss Sedani's unconscious. How convenient she took that hit for him and he was about to go down. <laughs> Damn it! You are just tough as friggin' able to take people down like they're nothing. Way overpowered. Ah, Phoenix down. That's not what I want. I want good stuff. I'm more interested in stealing from her than trying to take her out. Because just like the last fight, it's a scripted loss. You can't, you can't beat her. I wonder if I can affect her with, like, status changes. Thunder Gloves! That was nice. That's what I want. I doubt this will work. Sleep statuses in these games tend not to work on bosses. White wind. Oh, Vivi somehow managed to survive that. It's incredible. <laughs> Let's try white wind again. Cast this again. Damn it. Smack her with something uh, like a high level blizzard spell. <laughs> Beatrix seems to be as devote towards the Queen's cause as Steiner is, but she's much more dangerous than he is. Oh, wow, look at the damage she did. Vivi is a freaking ass kicker. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Everybody just defend. Except for Zidane. <laughs> oh, that'll take someone out. <laughs> it's such a powerful attack. Just 
burn it through my Phoenix Downs. Not that I think Quinta is, like, necessary for this fight. But, um... Uh, well, it's over. Damn it, Frey is going in the trance and the fight's over. What a waste. Jump into that portal. How convenient that all the black mages are coming here. <laughs> he just runs away. Well, she got here quick. <laughs> 